In this video, we're going to calculate the fair value price and determine if it's a good stock to buy right now. First, we're going to get some data. One of the most important data points you need to get is the earnings per share over a trailing 12 months. That's our starting point. This means calculating an unprofitable company is pure speculation at this point. Next, we're getting the stock's projected earnings per share growth over the next five years compounded annually. A percentage over 20% is good, but investors may have already priced that growth in, so let's keep going. We then get the earnings growth rate for years 6 to 10. That's often set at 3% to match the long-term inflation numbers. Fifth, we get the earnings growth rate for years 11 to 20. We're assuming that growth will stagnate at 0% during this period. Sixth, we get the earnings growth rate for years 21 to 30. Unlike other discounted cash flow calculations, we're going to assume growth declines by 3%. We need to be realistic that even the best businesses can not only stop growing, but start declining. One of the most subjective parts of the discounted cash flow analysis is the discount rate. Basically, this is the annual growth we desire to make this investment worth it. The default is set at 10%, which matches the long-term returns of the S&P 500. So let's say you desire a 20% return. The stock's fair price will need to be lower in order to achieve a higher return. The number of years is set at 30 because we're trying to project the next 30 years. The further away we project forward, the more inaccurate our analysis, so that's why we need to make sure growth falls as a precaution. Finally, terminal growth is set at negative 5%. This is what we expect earnings to fall into the future. Further out, we need to assume any business will accelerate its downfall after 30 years. Around 20 to 30% of the companies in the S&P 500 won't survive the next 30 years. We should account for that. Once we plug these 8 data points, we can project out the earnings as well as what its present value would be for 30 years. If we have a positive earnings growth rate, the EPS will rise for the first 5 years and then slow starting at year 6, and then drop to 0% at year 11 and fall 3% at year 21. What we get is the stock's terminal value, which projects earnings after 30 years. The present value of the terminal value simply discounts that terminal value to the present day. That's how we then get our fair value price, subtracting the terminal value by its present value. We compare that to the current price of the stock and it gives us a relative valuation. If it's highlighted in green, the stock is undervalued right now. If it's blue, the stock is trading close to its fair value price. And if it's red, the stock is overvalued. I also include a 10% margin of safety. This basically lowers the fair value price by 10% and the relative value adjusted. This margin of safety is purely optional, but it allows some error when calculating the fair value price of the stock. Unfortunately, figuring out the fair value price accounts for only 10% of my analysis. 90% of my analysis focuses on the business behind the stock. If you want to get the full analysis, join my Patreon. You'll get access to all the companies I've analyzed. Go to patreon.com forward growth shares or click on the link in the description. If you want more, like and share this video. Invest wisely, and as always, Take care of your money.